वेलकम छ सबै जनालाई आजको यस भिडियोमा आज हामी सिटीबीटी को फर्स्ट इयर को फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर डिप्लोमा लेभल को केमिस्ट्री लिएर उपस्थित भएका छौ जसमा हामी एग्जामिनेसन 2078 रेगुलर ब्याकमा सोधिएका क्वेशन आन्सर हलको हलको बारेमा डिस्कसन गर्छौ यसमा भएको सबै क्वेशन आन्सरहरु सिटीबीटी एग्जामिनेसन तथा अन्य एग्जामिनेसनहरुको लागि अति नै महत्त्वपूर्ण भएकोले यो सबै क्वेशन आन्सरहरु टिपोट गर्नु होला लेख्नु होला फर्स्ट क्वेशन रहेको छ 1 ए व्हाट डू यू मीन बाइ इक्विवेलेंट वेट अफ एन एलिमेन्ट प्रूफ दैट मोलिक्युलर वेट इक्वल टू 2 इनटु वेपर डेंसिटी यसको आन्सर रहेको छ इक्विवेलेंट वेट अफ एन एलिमेन्ट द पार्ट्स बाइ वेट अफ एन एलिमेन्ट व्हिच कम्बाइन विथ 1.008 parts by weight of hydrogen or 8 parts by weight of oxygen or 35.5 parts by weight of chlorine is called equivalent weight of an element next part ra ko cha vapor density it is defined as the ratio of the weight of certain volume of that gas to the weight of the same volume of hydrogen under similar condition of temperature and pressure और वेपर डेंसिटी इक्वल टू वेट अफ भी वोल्यूम अफ द गैस टू द वेट अफ भी वोल्यूम अफ हाइड्रोजन एप्लाइंग एवोगैड्रोज हाइपोथेसि वेपर डेन्सिटी इक्वल टू वेट अफ एन मोलिक्यूल अफ द गैस टू द वेट अफ एन मोलिक्यूल अफ हाइड्रोजन और वेपर डेन्सिटी इक्वल टू वेट अफ वन मोलिक्यूल अफ द गैस टू द वेट अफ वन मोलिक्यूल अफ हाइड्रोजन सीन्स हाइड्रोजन इज डायटोमिक वी कैन राइट वेपर डेन्सिटी इक्वल टू मोलिकुलर वेट डिवाइडेड बाय टू इंटू वेट अफ वन हाइड्रोजन एटम और वेपर डेन्सिटी इक्वल टू मोलिकुलर वेट अपन टू इंटू वन व्हिच इज इक्वल टू मोलिकुलर वेट इक्वल टू टू इंटू वेपर डेन्सिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रहेको छ वन को बी हाउ इज डाल्टन्स एटोमिक थ्योरी मोडिफाइड इन द लाइट अफ मोडर्न नलेज यसको एन्सर रहेको छ द मोडिफिकेसन अफ डाल्टन्स एटोमिक थ्योरी द मेन मोडिफिकेसन मेड इन डाल्टन एटोमिक थ्योरी आर एटम्स अफ द सेम एलिमेन्ट मे नट बी सिमिलर इन अल रिस्पेक्ट देयर इक्जिस्ट डिफरेन्ट एटम अफ द सेम एलिमेन्ट विच आर डिफरेन्ट इन एटोमिक वेट कल्ड आइसोटप्स एक्जाम्पल टू डिफरेन्ट टाइप्स अफ क्लोरिन हेज 35 and 7 37 amu relative weight atom of the different element may be similar atoms of different elements may have same atomic weight called isobars example relative weight of calcium and argon both has 40 amu atoms may be divisible it is found that atoms are made up of subatomic particles electrons protons and neutrons The mass of atom can be changed into energy according to Einstein equation E equal to mc square mass can be changed into energy fifth the ratio in which atoms combine may fixed and integral may not be simple the compound is formed by combination of atoms in fixed ratio it may not be simple example glucose c6h12o6 here the ratio of carbon hydrogen and oxygen is integers but not in simple ratio next question is 2a state and explain faraday's first law of electrolysis calculate mass of copper deposited by electrolysis on passing 2.5 ampere current for 45 minutes through the solution of copper sulfate here atomic weight of copper is 63.5 this ko answer raheko cha faraday first law of electrolysis the mass of any substance deposited or dissolved at any electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the electricity passed through the solution if w gram of substance deposited or dissolved when q coulomb of electricity passed then w is directly proportional to q or w equal to z i t where z is electrochemical equivalent of substance again here i given 2.5 ampere time 45 minute which is equal to 45 into 60 equal to 2700 second 
E equal to atomic weight divided by balance, that is 63.5 divided by 2, equal to 31.75 is equivalent to weight of copper, W equal to what? We know that W equal to ZIT, where Z is calculated by E upon F into IT, or 31.75 divided by the value of F is 96,500 into 2.5 into 2700, which is equal to 2.22 gram of copper deposited. Next question is B. State drawback of Rutherford's atomic model. What are the basic postulates of Bohr's atomic model? This answer is a drawback of Rutherford atomic model. Rutherford atomic model could not explain how the moving electrons could remain in its orbit. Any charged particles during revolving in cell, it lose energy and eventually fall into nucleus. It can't explain such behavior for stability, which can be shown by diagram. When electron lose ele energy in cell, then it must collide in nucleus. Main postulates of Bohr's atomic theory are atom consists of very small positively charged nucleus which is surrounded by electrons. The electrons revolve around the nucleus in definite circular path called cell or orbit denoted by K, L, M or 1, 2, dot, dot. When electrons revolve around the nucleus in cell, it neither lose nor gain energy, that is, energy of electron in cell remains constant. Third, only those orbits exist in which angular momentum of electron remains quantized, which is equal to MBVR equal to NH upon 2 pi. When energy supplied to electron, it jumps to higher level. Electron again returns back to its or original energy level. The change in energy is E2 minus E1 equal to H nu. Next question is 3A, state Dulong's and Petit's law. 0.444 gram of metal when dissolved in dilute hydrochloric acid gave 177 ml of dry hydrogen at 10 degrees Celsius and 750 mm Hg pressure. The specific heat of metal is 0.107, calculate exact atomic weight of metal. The answer is Dulong's and Petit law help to calculate exact atomic weight of element. According to this law, atomic weight into a specific heat equal to 6.4 approximately. Exact atomic weight is equal to equivalent weight into valency. Here, from question given that volume of hydrogen V1 equal to 177 ml, pressure of dry hydrogen P1 equal to 750 mm Hg, Temperature T1 equal to 10 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 10 plus 273 equal to 287 Kelvin. We know that at NTP, T2 equal to 273 Kelvin, P2 equal to 760 mm of Hg, and V2 equal to what? We have to calculate V2 at NTP. We know that P1 V1 upon T1 equal to P2 V2 upon T2 or B2 equal to P1, B1, T2 upon P2, T1 or 750 into 177 into 273 upon 760 into 283 which is equal to 168.5 ml and weight of hydrogen is equal to V2 into density which is equal to 0 0.000089 gram per cc and by multiplying 168.5 into 0 0.000089, we got weight of hydrogen equal to 0 0.015 gram. Now, equivalent weight of metal equal to weight of metal upon weight of hydrogen into 1.008, which is equal to 0 0.444 upon 0 0.015 into 1.008 which is equal to 29.84 or equivalent weight of metal equal to 29.84. Now 
एटोमिक वेट इन टू ए स्पेसिफिक हिट इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर एटोमिक वेट इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर अपॉन स्पेसिफिक हिट और सिक्स पॉइंट फोर अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो सेवन विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट एट अगेन बैलेंसी इक्वल टू एटोमिक वेट अपॉन इक्वेलेंट वेट विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट फोर इक्वल टू टू नाउ वी कैलकुलेट एग्जैक्ट एटोमिक वेट इक्वल टू इक्वेलेंट वेट इन टू वैलेंसी और ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट फोर इंटू टू विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स एट इज एग्जैक्ट एटोमिक वेट ऑफ मेटल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बी नंबर स्टेट मैंडलिप्स पेरियोडिक लॉ एक्सप्लेन मैंडलिप्स पेरियोडिक टेबल इन ब्रीफ अल्सो मेन्सन इट्स एनोमेलिज इसको एंसर रहे मैंडलिप पेरियोडिक लॉ फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रोपर्टीज अफ एलिमेंट्स आर पेरियोडिक फंक्शन टू दियर एटोमिक मास मैंडलिप्स पेरियोडिक टेबल द पेरियोडिक टेबल प्रिपेयर्ड बाय डेमेट्री मैंडलिप ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ एटोमिक मास इज कॉल्ड मैंडलिप्स पेरियोडिक टेबल इट इज फर्स्ट साइंटिफिक पेरियोडिक टेबल बेस्ड ऑन लॉ इट हैज नाइन ग्रुप्स एंड सेवेन पीरियड्स ग्रुप्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू सब ग्रुप्स ए एंड बी एनोमोलिज ऑफ मैंडलिप्स पेरियोडिक टेबल There were no proper place for hydrogen. It is kept in group I A and B I I A both. There were no proper place for lanthanides and actinides. Chemically similar elements are kept in different group. Elements of higher elements proceeds after lighter elements. Next question is four A. What is redox reaction? Balance the following chemical equation by oxidation number method. कॉपर प्लस नाइट्रिक एसिड गिव्स कॉपर नाइट्रेट प्लस नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड प्लस वाटर इसको एंसर रहे रिडक्स रिएक्शन और ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन इज अल्सो कॉल्ड रिडक्स रिएक्शन एनी केमिकल रिएक्शन इन विच द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ पार्टिसिपेटिंग केमिकल स्पेसिज चेंज इज कॉल्ड रिडक्स रिएक्शन द गिवेन केमिकल रिएक्शन इज कॉपर प्लस नाइट्रिक एसिड गिव्स कॉपर नाइट्रेट प्लस नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड एन ओ प्लस एच टू ओ यार ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ कॉपर चेंज फ्रॉम जीरो टू प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन चेंज फ्रॉम प्लस टू टू प्लस प्लस फाइव टू प्लस टू विच इज कॉल्ड रिडक्शन नाउ चेंज इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ कॉपर इक्वल टू प्लस टू माइनस जीरो इक्वल टू टू चेंज इन ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन प्लस टू माइनस प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू थ्री Now multiplying nitric acid and nitric oxide by two, copper and copper nitrate by three, we get three Cu plus two HNO three gives three Cu NO three co O two plus two NO plus H two O. To balance nitrogen in a reactant, six HNO three molecule added in a reactant, we get. 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 gives 3 Cu NO3 co O2 plus 2 NO plus H2O. To balance hydrogen and oxygen, add 3 H2O in product. We get 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 gives 3 Cu NO3 co O2 plus 2 NO plus 4 H2O. Which the next question is B. What do you mean by acid and base? According to Arrhenius concept, also mention its limitation. इसको एंसर रहे आरहेनियस कंसेप्ट अफ एसिड एंड बेस एंड एसिड आर द कंपाउंड व्हिच गिव्स हाइड्रोजन आयन इन एक्वस सोल्यूशन एक्जापल एच सी एल गिव्स एच प्लस सी एल माइनस नाइट्रिक एसिड एच एनओ थ्री गिव्स एच प्लस एनओ थ्री माइनस बेस आर द कंपाउंड व्हिच गिव्स हाइड्रोक्साइल आयन इन एक्वस सोल्यूशन एक्जापल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एन एओ एच गिव्स एन ए प्लस प्लस ओ एच माइनस The process of neutralization from union of H plus and OH minus gives water, or H plus plus OH minus gives H2O. Limitations of Arrhenius theory of acid and base. This theory does not explain about hydrogen ion does not exist independently, or hydrogen ion exists in H plus plus H2O. H Three O plus or in hydronium ion, which is not explained. This theory explains acid and base in terms of aqueous solution only. Does not explain acid and base of substance themselves. 
This theory does not explain acidity of compounds like aluminum chloride, ferric chloride, etc. This theory can't explain the nature of carbon dioxide and ammonia or acidic and basic nature of carbon dioxide and ammonia. Next question is 5A. What are the significance of given chemical equation? Calcium carbonate CaCO3 plus 2HCl gives calcium chloride CaCl2 plus water H2O plus carbon dioxide CO2. Mention the limitations of chemical equation. This answer is the given reaction is CaCO3 calcium carbonate plus 2HCl gives CaCl2 calcium chloride plus water H2O plus CO2 carbon dioxide. Qualitative significance. Calcium carbonate when it reacts with hydrochloric acid gives calcium chloride, water and carbon dioxide gas. Quantitative significance. One mole of calcium carbonate reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid gives one mole of calcium chloride, one mole of water and one mole of carbon dioxide gas. Next, quantitative significance. 100 gram of calcium carbonate reacts with 73 gram of HCl gives 111 gram calcium chloride, 18 gram water and 44 gram of carbon dioxide. Limitations of chemical equations. All the chemical equations may not occur actually. It could not explain physical state of reactants and products. It could not explain rate of chemical reaction. It could not explain exothermic and endothermic nature of chemical reaction. It could not explain reversibility of chemical reaction. Next question is B number. How can you determine the equivalent weight by indirect oxide formation method? This answer is the method which do not form oxide on oxide on heating directly in air like copper, zinc, lead metal, etc. Its equivalent weight can be known by dissolving in conch nitric acid to get corresponding nitrate which decompose into oxide. Here example copper plus 4 nitric acid gives copper nitrate plus nitrogen dioxide plus water. On ignition of copper nitrate gives copper oxide plus 4NO2 nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. Now weight of metal oxide we consider W1, weight of oxygen W2, weight of metal now becomes weight of metal oxide minus weight of oxygen. Equivalent weight of metal now calculated by weight of metal upon weight of oxygen into 8. Here 8 is equivalent weight of oxygen. Next question is 6 number. Write short notes on any 5 we are given. Radical, covalent bond, Hund's rule, titration, normality, primary standard substances. Answer 1 number radical. Atom or groups of atoms having charge on them and behaves as single unit in chemical reaction are called radical. Example, nitrate, NO3 minus, sodium, Na plus, oxygen oxide, O minus minus, ammonium, NS4 plus. Covalent bond. The chemical bond formed by sharing of electrons between atoms is called covalent bond. It is formed among nonmetals and weaker in nature. Example, water H2O contains covalent bond, ammonia NH3 contains covalent bond, methane CH4 contains covalent bond. Hund's rule, filling of electrons in different orbitals of the subcell takes place singly and then pairing takes place. In other words, Pairing of electrons with the introduction of second electron in S subcell, fourth in P subcell. Titration The chemical operation of determining strength of unknown solution with the help of a standard solution with known volume is called titration. It is the measurement of volumes in volumetric analysis. 
normality the number of gram equivalent of solute present in 1 liter of solution is called normality normality equal to number of gram equivalent of solute upon volume of solution in liter primary standard substance those substance whose standard solution can be prepared directly by dissolving non weight of the substance in definite volume of solvent are known as primary standard substance